everyone, Abby here, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Lululemon Seaweeds Rain Chaser Jacket. But before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned to all my new videos dropping weekly, and so you can help the channel grow. So this is in the color Euphoria Multi in a size 10, and it goes for $198. This is part of the Seaweeds collection. For those of you who don't know, Seaweeds is an annual race that Lululemon puts together. It's an absolutely amazing event. And as part of this race, Lululemon does create limited edition running items. And this one happened to be my favorite pick of this year for the Seaweeds collection. I absolutely love this print. You know, to me, it just looks like a car wash kind of threw up on my jacket, but I actually love that, guys. One thing about this print is that looking at it online, we could see that it looks a lot brighter. You know, the colors look a lot more bold and punchy, but in person, it's actually more of like a muted multicolor mix. Definitely looks better in person than it does online. So now I'm gonna go ahead and try this on so you can see what it looks like on me. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like on me. Once again, this is a size 10. For my sizing recommendations, I would highly recommend going down one from your true to size. So this is me going down one from my true to size. As you can see, it's still a pretty baggy fit in the torso. And the arms are also kind of baggy as well. If you want an even tighter fit or even smaller fit, you can go down two. But I do want to let you know, as you do go down in size, it does get shorter in the torso length. I personally think that it's supposed to be, you know, cropped and oversized. I'm like, you know, here and it goes to here. So there's a bit of a gap. But I personally love this baggy fit. You would definitely throw this over a bunch of different things. So I'm wearing these with a pair of high waist and aligned pants. I would highly recommend wearing it with high waisted pants. I think it looks great there. Also putting it with a pair of like high waisted jeans, I think would look nice as well. One thing I do want to mention guys is that if you like this jacket, you know, if you want to get this Seaweeds Rain Chaser jacket, I would highly recommend buying that right now. These were just released last week and they're almost completely sold out. So if you guys are interested in getting this jacket, I've gone ahead and put a link in the description for you to use. And here's the tag for anybody who's interested. The zipper on this jacket is definitely solid. I'm just gonna give you guys a little bit of a demo here. Very smooth, and the zippers on the sides are also good as well. When we are coming over to the pockets here, they are very large actually. Two, one on each side. Those are all the pockets you're gonna find on this jacket. There are no more inside or at the back. This pocket on this side has a little kind of mesh sleeve that you can use to put your change in, your keys. In terms of sizing, they fit my phone really well. You know, popping that in there. So there is right here inside the pocket, a little slit for headphones. So if you're running with this jacket on and you're using wired headphones, you can go ahead and do that without your headphones, you know, bobbing around and distracting you. And so there's also some great reflective details on this jacket. So first off, there's reflectivity actually going along the back here. There's just little lines here. There's also reflective dots going along the sleeve. In addition to that, there is more reflectivity if you take the sleeve and curl it under. So under both sleeves, we actually have a nice big written Lululemon logo right here. And I personally love the look of this. I also love the extra reflectivity we're getting here, as you can see. And the final bit of reflectivity on this jacket is the logo right here, guys. So as it is seaweeds, it does have a special kind of edition logo right here. All right, guys, so now I'm gonna go into some highlights about this jacket. So this jacket is great for running, for walking, for on the go, for bike rides, just for casual wear as well. It also has a lot of reflectivity, which is great for those early morning runs or walks. Has a cinchable hood and has a cinchable waist. This is made of Lululemon's glide fabric, which is waterproof. There are little holes for ventilation, little perforated vented areas underneath each armpit. On the inside, we can better see the ventilation here. They're kind of under the armpits and at your sides along this area. That's where you're gonna find the vents. It does have a cropped fit, but it's also an oversized fit as well. So it allows airflow to come in underneath if you don't have it cinched. So overall, I think it has a decent amount of airflow. That being said, I'm gonna tell you guys straight up, this is not the most breathable jacket out there. So if you're wearing this in the midst of summer on like a super humid day, this is not the jacket you're gonna to wanna to get because rain jackets, you know, waterproof ones especially, they're not letting in a lot of air. <laughs> they're keeping out, 
you know, the rain and everything. So I'd say this is better for spring or on cooler days. All right, guys, so is this fabric really waterproof? Well, I'm gonna show you. I have a water bottle right here. Now let's go ahead and see. <laughs> Making a bit of a mess on the floor, but coming closer, you guys can see the water is just beating up on here. So all of the water is right here, guys. The water just rolls right off this jacket. This thing really is waterproof, guys. Just showing you guys the hood now because the hood is massive. If when I put it on, it covers my entire face. That might be a feature that some of you like, some of you don't like. For me, I personally love that the hood is big because that means that my hair won't get wet when I go out in the rain. There's a cinch on each side for you. And coming over to the back, there is another cinch for the hood. It's hidden under here, so there's a little flap. Pull that out and you can tighten it up. So this is gonna like pull the hood back for you so you're not gonna have it in your eyes as much. All right guys, so one more thing about this jacket is that it does have a cinchable waist here. So underneath we do have blue cinches on each side and you can just go ahead and pull it until it's cinched enough for your preference. All right guys, so a con about this jacket would be the buttons for me. In all of the Rain Chaser jackets and in a lot of the raincoats in general, I don't like these types of buttons that they use, guys. When you pull them, it takes a lot of force and there's lots of resistance and you can see kind of the button here stretching and this one and uh, I don't like that, guys. So that is the one con for me about this jacket. So I just don't even really use them. You know, it definitely goes to my hip area. Obviously, if you're in the rain, this whole area is gonna get wet. So if you're looking for a longer jacket you can wear in the rain for casual wear or on the go, you might be interested in the Lululemon Rain Rebel jacket. And I have a review on that coming soon. All right, guys. So considering the price, the quality, the color, the comfort, the functionality, and the fit of this Rain Chaser jacket, I'm gonna go ahead and give this an 8.4 out of 10. And I definitely do give it a thumbs up. So if you guys are interested in getting the Lululemon Seaweeds Rain Chaser jacket, I've gone ahead and left a link down in the description for you to use. And if there's anything I missed today that you wanna know, just go ahead and drop a comment below. Thanks for watching, guys, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.